feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go, go back to my channel welcome back this is your girl mrs jbj what is happening what is going on welcome welcome go ahead and like i need you guys go ahead and subscribe i need you to go ahead and make a comment if you like my content go ahead and drop me a comment and yes i guess you can share my video. So let's get right into it. We are reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. We are on season eight and episode two. How do I feel about Love and Marriage Huntsville episode two? Yeah, I really wasn't feeling this episode. And I know I said that I was going to review Love and Marriage Huntsville but your girl is about to tap out. <laughs> I'm about to tap out. Wrong road. Wrong road. Okay, so we pick up where we left off on episode one when Carlos King is doing his um tour. He's in Huntsville. He invited Melody as his special guest. And it left off the last episode where he was introducing Destiny's ex-boyfriend and his new wife, Sonny and Mo Moses. Yeah, Moses. So, yeah, so they make their appearance. And I got to give it a Huntsville crowd. I like y'all. Y'all was really giving them the business in the audience. I appreciate that. Y'all know Carlos actually do this every week on his YouTube and podcast channel. He gives this type of interview. So I'm like, Carlos, I I'm, I, I really like Carlos. And I watch Carlos content a lot, if he, especially if he has someone that I really like. Because Carlos, hate him or love him. He knows everybody in the business. And honey, he be having some good interviews on his podcast. So this is what this episode was giving me in the beginning. I felt like I was in Carlos King's world and not in love and marriage Huntsville world. So Sonny and Moses is in the building. And honey, the crowd in Huntsville was giving Sonny and Moses hail. And I appreciate that because it's shady, but it's entertaining. So it's great for the TV show, but I feel sorry for Destiny. And I'm not a huge fan of Destiny, but I just think it's shady. Like they at least could have had Destiny on the show, right? He could have at least invited Destiny. At this point, Destiny is really more relevant than Mel um, being on his tour because it was all about Sonny and Moses. It's just not entertained. You know, it was shady. Um... And we really don't know these people. So I really wasn't entertained by, I mean, yes, but we already heard it. We already know Destiny's ex-boyfriend is married to her producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It starts there in there. I don't understand why he wants to bring them on the show. So I guess this is like an introduction to Sonny and Moses. But we don't know them people. We ain't never seen them people. So... I'm not really entertained by it, but let's talk about it. So Sonny was feeling the heat from the audience because they were giving them hell. Um, but she was just saying that they go into this long thing about the timeline of when they got together. Anyone who's in a shady relationship, they always got to explain the timeline, right? But it, girl, you fell in love with Moses. That's it. End of the story. He married you. Now you guys are the new couple of love and marriage Huntsville. I guess that's where we going with this. Um, so I get it, but we don't know them people. Okay. You destinies. Okay. If y'all would have brought destiny in, I think it would have been just better all together. Just bring destiny in and let her explain what the hell is going on and what really happened. So I just think he missed the mark. We're not inviting her. So let's move forward. Y'all, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this um, episode two because it just wasn't giving. You know, it was okay. Um, but I, I'm going to still say wrong road, wrong road. Like this episode focused on Sonny, Moses, 
the cast drilling them. Then we get a sprinkle of Martel, Marso, and Maurice doing what they've been doing for the last eight seasons. Um, and then you get into Kiki, who's not relevant. And I just, you know, I just told y'all about the whole episode in like three minutes. Okay, I'll see y'all next week. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But I'm just saying that's how I felt. Um, and at the end of the day, I want to see more about Melody. I don't mind seeing more about Mortel, see more of Tisha and Marceau, what's really going on in that house. I want to see more. If y'all going to have them on here, let's deep dive into Maurice and Kimmy's relationship. Like them, like grilling the new people. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. That's not what I want to see from Love and Marriage Huntsville. I just don't. So let's move on to Martel, Marceau, and Maurice. So Maurice and Marceau go check on Martel um, because Martel does a tell-all with Tasha K. And we all know Martel is 100% about that get back. So he wanted to get Mel back. So he went on Tasha and told his side of his story. So we already know what it is. That's why I was like, okay, wrong road, wrong road. Okay, but they have confronted Martel so many times. And now it's at the point that Martel don't respect no Maurice and no Marso. He don't. He was like, y'all can't tell me nothing because he think they're all in the same situation. And he just think that they like, just do this to get along. And Martell don't want to hear nothing they got to say because, like I said, they're more alike than they're different. They're all cheaters. <laughs> they all love covering up stuff. That's why I'm like, Marceau and Maurice, what y'all going to tell Martell? Martell is not married anymore. He's a single man. He's going to act the fool. He don't want to do right. He want to give Melody hell. And he's letting y'all know that up front, like, leave me alone. That's what I'm going to do. And like I said, they are more alike than different, but Marceau and Maurice just married, so they got to, you know, play and get along, and Martell ain't with that, and he don't really respect them. He don't respect their opinion because he be like, man, y'all just got to do this so y'all can stay married. You know, so it, it's just like, why are we still having these same conversations with Martell? Martell is going to do what he wants to do. I thought that was like, ugh. And then, of course, I don't like that they keep bringing in the fans. Um, They did it last week with Destiny and Tisha talking about mostly majority is Melanie's fans or what they call mellow meters or whoever they are. Um, And then this week, Marceau bring up the fan as well. So I'm like, why bring them up? We know y'all got y'all own little mess that keep youtube hot and instagram and twitter they stay hot because they really beef with each other but i'm like why bring that on the show why bring it on the show i mean marceau is like uh and and marceau actually took jabs at y'all <laughs> he was like what did he say He's like, if y'all gonna spend y'all last bit of money buying melanie's t-shirts that's shady he taking shots at y'all, but I don't want to hear about to hear about male fans and how they giving them hell. Let's just get back to the show. Like we're not gonna drag her fan base into Love and Marriage Huntsville. We're not. Like I said, they got a whole platform and all they foolishness on YouTube. So if you want to see that, go ahead and watch that. But don't bring that on an episode because it's a mess and nobody want to see that. So. Let's keep it moving. Wrong road, love and marriage Huntsville. Wrong road. Um, then we talk about Stormy goes visit Kiki. Why y'all still bringing Kiki up? Y'all know Kiki is a liar. Like, come on. Like, what's the point of bringing Kiki on love and marriage Huntsville? So Stormy goes and visit Kiki and I mean, I guess Stormy, it's a, okay, so let's talk about it. It's another situation where it's a lot of mess going on online and they bringing it to the show. So basically Kiki, I guess last year, 
leaked information. And I could be getting it wrong. Don't flood my comments about, no, girl, that ain't what happened. They didn't explain it on the show clearly, and I ain't got time to research it. So I'm. it's my own interpretation of it. So it seemed like last year, Kiki um, reached out to a blogger and told them about things that they filmed last season. And the blogger exposed that and was like, you know, Kiki over here giving all the tea what's going on in Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I guess Mel and the other cast member was like, why would you do that? You're jeopardizing our show. And then, so Kiki felt some type of way and just blamed it on her mom. It's like, no, it wasn't me. It was my mom that did that. My mom. I vented to my mom and my mom reached out to this blogger and like, who cares? That's not, we don't need that on the show. Who cares? Leave that on the internet. Nobody care about no Kiki. So Stormy confronts Kiki and basically telling Kiki like, girl, we know it wasn't your mama. We know it was you. Just be honest about it and let's move on. Nobody cares. I now moving on. So Kimmy, Tisha, and Sonny meets up. Kimmy invited Sonny to lunch with her and Tisha because she wanted to know about her relationship with Moses and how is this going to work with Destiny? So, yeah, wrong road. Nobody cares. <laughs> I mean, like, for them to be, like, Sonny and Moses is like the like the priority on love and marriage Huntsville and they never been on the show. They should not be a priority. Y'all can talk about them, but they should not be like the star of the show. I'm sorry. We never seen them folks. We don't know nothing about Sonny. We don't know nothing about no Moses. Why they can be part of the cast. I'm not saying that, but it shouldn't be like the star of the show. Like, Carlos bringing them in the beginning of the episode makes them the star of the show. Kimmy, Tisha, and Sunny has a whole conversation about it. A major part of the show. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. We can talk about it, but y'all making them the star of Love and Marriage Huntsville. No, we need to talk about Tisha. We need to talk about Mel and Kimmy and even fucking Nail. Like, what's going on? I don't like that. I don't. Y'all can talk about them, but why should they be the star? And they are. They took over this episode. So, of course, Sunny is in defense mode about everyone's, like I said, but she's in defense mode because, honey, at Carlos' events, the fans in the audience, like, we heard them, like, they were coming at her, like, girl. You crossed the line. Girl, you did too much, too much. Girl, tell the truth. Girl, why you did Destiny like that? So she already is feeling the heat from Carlos' event. And now Tisha, Tisha is like going in on Sunny because now Destiny is her best friend because Destiny don't like Melanie. Let's keep it a buck. And now Tisha was like, you mine. You know what I'm saying? You my girl. I got your back. And Kimmy was like, yeah, we loved. And they do have, they three do have a good relationship. But honey, Tisha is loving that her and Destiny is friends because Destiny used to be cool with Mel. I don't care what y'all say. That's what it is. I don't want to talk about them. I want to talk about Marceau. When Marceau told Martel, like he chose not to get a divorce. He chose to stay in his marriage. That's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about that. Um, let's talk about let's talk about why Marceau went to Africa by himself, <laughs> and then a couple years later, he decided to take Tisha and and the kids. Like, let's talk about that. Let's deep dive into that. Like, what was really going on that you went to Africa by yourself? Who and I, girl? Mm -mm, mm -mm. So Tisha is letting them know like oh i just came back from africa oh it was amazing we had a good time but let's talk about when you wasn't invited to go to africa and your man was in africa by himself <laughs> like what okay that's what we want to talk about 
We need to get back to the stars of Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm not interested in Love and Marriage Huntsville if they are not going to talk about Kimmy and Marceau and Maurice and Tisha in their relationship. I I just don't want to be a part of it because I, I know I done said it a couple times, but no. Y'all, y'all, I know Melanie, she don't have to be in another relationship, but why we can't watch her like on tour, her interacting with her kids, her relationship with Martell co-parenting, even a good, bad, and ugly. Why not show that? In the episode with Mel and Kiki. And I ain't care for that either. Because basically, Mel invited Kiki to probably let her know, like. Your service is no longer needed in love and marriage Huntsville. Who cares? This is even a conversation with Mel and Kiki. I really don't. Because at the end of the day, we know Mel just had a relationship with Kiki to get back at Tisha. To get back at Tisha. That's what it was about, period. And Mel don't care about no daggone Kiki. She really don't. So I'm just like, why do y'all have to bring in the ending of the show with Mel and Kiki? And basically, Mel just letting her know, basically officially firing Kiki from Love and Marriage Huntsville. But nobody cares. We all know that Kiki been lying since she showed up. Kiki ain't never told the truth. Now, I do think it's a sprinkle of truth of what she was saying, but she can't even keep up with her lies. And Mel knows that. And she used her for what she needed for her to do regarding her and Tisha. She done threw a drink in Tisha's face. She came at Tisha. She done did her job, let her go. But for Mel to bring Kiki on talking about, um, we don't play about you releasing um, scenes in Love and Marriage Huntsville before it airs on the show. Like, this is my check. This is my livelihood. What are you talking about, Melody? That's all y'all do is stay on the internet and tell y'all business and don't bring it to the show. Y'all been doing that forever. That's why this show is like booty right now because of the fucking internet. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you'll be spilling all kind of tea on your Instagrams to your fan base. Like, what? It's so much junk. If y'all bring half of that junk y'all do on the internet onto this show, it would be amazing. I only care about the show. So for Mel to sit up there and be like, girl, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to keep it to the episode. Like, I would love for y'all to hone in half of that stuff that y'all got on the internet and bring it to the show and let us be surprised, but it's nothing that y'all can do on Love and Marriage Huntsville on any episode that we're going to be like, oh, that happened? For real? Y'all T always spill over to the internet. Okay, let me stop. We're just on episode two. I was really excited about the episode. Like I said, I'm always rooting for Love and Marriage Huntsville, but I have to say episode two is wrong road. I mean, it, I didn't even, I was fast forwarding it through it. I, uh, I done seen this with that Marceau, Mart I done seen this before um, with Carlos and his tour. Oh, I see that every week on his YouTube channel. Kiki, oh, uh, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sonny, we know that whole, like, I, like, wrong road, wrong road. But this is episode two. I don't know, guys. This is episode two. I know I said I was going to do it. I, I try to keep my commitments, but I, I don't know if, I, I, if I'm going to do three or four or five. Like, I'm just hoping it gets better. Um, Because Kiki and Sonny was the star of Love and Marriage Huntsville, and we don't want to see them. Like, they can be the buffer, but we don't want to see them. I want to see Melody and Martell. Good, bad, or ugly. I want to see Tisha and Marceau. Good, bad, or ugly. I want to see Kimmy and Maurice. Good, bad. But yeah, that was episode two. I already, y'all know how I feel. I don't even, did I even recap it? I think I did. 
did I recap it, y'all? I hope I recapped it because that really is what happened. I was just not interested. It's like y'all done told the story one time. Like how many different times y'all going to tell the same story about Sonny and Moses? How many times y'all going to... I think that Stormy and Kiki, it was a wrap. I don't understand why Mel... I, just, I don't. But anyway, that was episode two of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, I guess we'll wait and see if episode three is any better. I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, love and marriage, Huntsville, stop disappointing me. But anyway, I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode. And like I said, I have a lot of content on my channel. I've been knocking out Where is Wendy Williams? Um, great, great, great video. Um, if you're a Wendy Williams fan, you've got to check it out. I also been reviewing um Gerard Carmichael reality show. If you believe in doing the work and working on yourself, you've got to check out my recap with them. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode and peace. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go, go.